everyone, it's Suffer, and today I am going to be testing out some markers. These markers were provided to me by the website Banggood. I will have a link in the description. It's a website where you can buy almost everything. So they asked me if I wanted to do a review of something they had on their site, and I picked these markers. They are alcohol based and there are 80 markers in this set. So that is a lot of markers. There's also a link in the description to this listing of these markers. So you can go check them out if you want to get some for yourself. They cost about $61 for the entire set, but they are currently sold out. I don't know when they will restock. Maybe when this video comes out, they will have already restocked. So. Make sure to go and check if you want the markers. And now get ready for bad lighting because I was losing the sunlight and I had to turn on my lamps. So sorry. So here we have the markers. This is what they look like and you can get them in white or black. So that's pretty cool. You can decide for yourself. On one end there's a bullet nap or a fine nap or whatever you want to call it. And on the other there is a chisel nap. And as you might be able to see, it is kind of hard to get the lids on and off. But it's no biggie. And also, one of the markers I received was cracked. So when I tried to open it, this happened. Um, but it's, it's no big deal. You can just, if you squeeze down, you can open it normally. On the caps, you can see the number and the name for the color. And it also has the color on the cap. But as with most of the cheaper markers, the numbers and the names of the colors don't necessarily make a lot of sense. So you can basically only go off of the color on the cap. Which is fine, because as you can see here, the color of the marker and the color of the lid actually match up pretty well. So that's pretty cool. There's a slight difference, but it's not very noticeable. So let's see how these markers actually work on on a piece of art, yes. So I have here a piece of art that I have made for this purpose. It, it was actually a digital thing I made a while ago, but I just printed it out and traced it onto a piece of blending card or Bristol board, of Bristol board, yes. I know what I'm doing, right. So right off the bat, uh, also when I was doing the color chart, I noticed that they have pretty good coverage, which is a thing that you sometimes find in cheap markers that they will be kind of streaky or weird and blotchy, but these ones are pretty good. They have very nice coverage. When it comes to the darker colors, they tend to be more streaky, but if you go over them a bit more, uh, you can get a nice coverage. The sad thing about that is that you'll end up having a very dark area, which will happen later. We'll talk more about that when we get there. So a thing I wanted to try out in this piece was using a purple marker for shading everything, because when I draw digitally, I use purple on a multiply layer to make the shades. And I've seen people doing this with markers and it looks really cool. Um, but the only purple marker that kind of worked for this was a very, very light one. And the problem with some marker sets is that if you take a light color and put it on top of a dark color, it'll kind of bleach the darker color and it will look super weird. So that is, of course, what happened here. And that is kind of sad, but I later found out that there was another purple color that I could use to shade the darker or the more mid-tony colors of the piece. Uh, I wish I had known, but I, I didn't know. <laughs> so I kind of went over in the end with the, with the darker purple, but it still wasn't dark enough to shade the very dark shades. It's also been quite a long time since I last tried to make anything with alcohol-based markers, so I kind of forgot how they work. Um, and with the jacket, I was kind of trying to figure out how to make the cuffs lighter and the jacket darker. Um, but there wasn't really a good lighter version of the color that I chose for the jacket. 
So I had to kind of go over the jacket multiple times with the original color for the jacket to make the cuffs seem like they were lighter. I also accidentally put a wrong color on to the cuffs, so I had to go back over the cuffs with the light color of the jacket. It was a hot mess, you guys. I feel like the set has a lot of really nice colors and it has a good variety of all of the different color families except for purples, but I feel like that's pretty general um, that purples are the color that's always missing from micro sets. Um, but aside from that, it had a pretty good variety. And the only uh, time that I felt like I was missing a color was when I had to draw uh, the inside of the jacket in, because there wasn't really a color that was just a darker version of the, the color I chose for the jacket. So I kind of needed that. Um, and I ended up just going over the inside of the jacket with a million different colors and it still didn't really end up the right color. Ah, and there we go. Now I found the purple marker <laughs> that I used for shading different things. Okay, are you ready for my biggest failure doing this piece? I wanted the shorts to be brown, but I wanted them to be a different kind of brown than the jacket. So I figured I will make them a dark desaturated brown. Uh, but since there wasn't one of those, so were only really saturated dark dark browns, I figured that I could just lay down the brown and then try to kind of bleach it with a, a light warm grey color. Um, except that I forgot the fact that that doesn't work. That it ruins everything. <sighs> So the shorts ended up looking super weird and blotchy and that's not because the markers are bad, it's because uh, I made a mistake. So don't judge the markers capabilities from the shorts because that's 100% my fault. I don't know if I would say that they have a good selection of colors to shade with because uh, this pr uh, pink, for example, doesn't really have a darker pink that would be nice for shading it. Uh, but you can work around that. You can use a purple to shade like I do, because that works really well, uh, I feel. <laughs> but if you wanted to shade the pink with another pink, I think it would be hard to find one that would look like it was uh, a shade color for this pink, because the pinks just get more intense um, as they get darker. So I don't really know if if they have the best shade options for the different colors. But aside from that, I do think that this is a very good set of markers. They have nice colors and the markers themselves are very good. They have nice coverage and all of that jazz. So if you're looking into starting using alcohol-based markers, I would definitely consider this set because it's cheap and you get very good markers for the price. And you also get just a bunch of markers. 80 markers is really a lot of markers. So now that we're almost at the end of the video, I want to thank Banggood for sending me these markers. They are super cool and I enjoyed doing this video a lot. I also want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. So that's about it and I will see you guys later.